Welcome to Santos Brothers Eat, food worth mentioning. Where Chef Jeff and his brother Kenny talk about their amazing adventures eating and tasting food that is so incredible, they have got to just share it with the world. My mouth is salivating already. All right, so this is Kenny Santos for Santos Brothers East. As you can see, I'm here with my brother, Chef Jeff Santos. Together, we are your favorite Filipino foodies. And this weekend, we had some custom donuts. And when we say, you know, donuts, um, we, you know, you don't always get to get them custom. So it's kind of like a little bit of a treat. And uh, there's a place called Frenchie's Donuts, right, Jeff? That is correct. And they opened only, I think, two weekends ago. So wow. uh, I belong to, my Diana and I belong to a Facebook group called Subtopico Facebook group. And uh, they were sort of all the rage, uh, the, the saying that the owner, I guess, is a member as well. She said, we're opening in about two days or two weeks. And then day one, they opened and we went the weekend after. Uh, so it was, it was a big deal uh, for Frenchies Donuts. Um, the reason why they're called Frenchies is because the French dog, which is French poodle, not a French poodle, but a French, uh, French bulldog. Yes, yeah. that is it. French Thank you. Bulldog. So yeah. So here's um, Frenchies. Actually, I gotta share my screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So here's Frenchies. Here's their website. As you can see, their logo has that uh, the dog there. Yep. Up there. And so um, they have a now. I say custom. Can you make custom, or are they just made to order? No, kind of no. They're they're all everything's custom. Uh, has customs. They have their Frenchies favorites, which is listed ah. here. You can see the picture. Nice. And I think there's 12 options, I believe. Um, but then they do have make your own. So yeah. they have all the, the, the icings, the toppings, uh, and the, any other accoutrements that you want to add to it. Um, so it is a base ring donut. It's a yeast donut, which is deep fried. So they don't, they don't have any like uh, filled donuts you could have. So just a base donut. But uh, Diane and I, and, and I guess you agreed that the actual donut itself you know, that can make or break a donut. You know, you can put all the stuff you want in it, but if the donut itself isn't good, it's not good. But uh, I think we all like the, the actual base donut uh, that, that it was on. Absolutely. And I got to agree with that. You know, we do have to, you know, if, if the actual base isn't good, and that doesn't matter whether it's a pizza, a sandwich, whatever the case may be, mm -hmm. you get the base has to be good. And if the base isn't good, it doesn't matter how good the toppings are that you put on it. It's just not going to be. And so Frenchies, they make a good base for their donuts. Yeah. And uh, actually, there's a much better picture of the bulldog, as we could oh, see. Yeah. There. Uh, so the, I guess it's a, you know what, some dog lovers are going to be like, that is not even a French bulldog, but I don't know. Let's I go think Frenchies. it is. I think it is. Yeah. Good, good, good. And so if you go in... Uh, so there's nothing pre-made except for the donut itself. That right? is correct. So we nice. thought that they would have their Frenchie's favorites. There would be some set aside. Mm -hmm. So you just grab a box of six or whatever. But they make all their donuts in front of you. Nice. So the donuts are ready. I guess I, I, I'm not too sure how often they make the base donuts. Maybe they make 24 ahead of time. And then when it's time, um, it's like Cops Donuts. We had the episode, I'm not too sure what episode that was. So that's, those are the small sort of gourmet mini donuts. And they were making those, you know, to order. So you had to wait. Um, because these are a bit larger and they take longer to cook, they do need to put some aside already. Um, yeah. I'm not too sure. I, I'm, they, they may have been warm somewhere, like in a, in a, in a warmer to keep them warm. Um, but yeah, to create your own here. Yeah. So like, like we said before, so... They have their favorites, but then you could also make your own. So there's all your icing bases and then your toppings. Um, and then I think scroll down a bit more, Ken, it's the third well, one. Before I go down, so yet your here are the choices for your icing or base. You could either have the donuts, uh, and this is for the benefit for the people that can't watch or not oh, watching right, this yes. video, right? So for those that are just listening, you could either have it naked, chocolate, vanilla bean, strawberry, blueberry, lemon, cinnamon sugar, raspberry, lime, maple, pink, vanilla. So there's a the basic donut, and then this is like your icing that goes on top Correct. of it. So yes. you get all those. And then once the icing is down, you have, and that's 11 choices, including naked for your icing. And then you can put your toppings. Oh, okay. well, it's, it's nude. Nude, fine. It's naked. Nude. Yes. naked is dirty. Nude there is, is nude. And That's Jeff right. is referencing an episode of Three's Company. Another and one. He, yes. I think and we're two for know, two right now. <laughs> Three's Company is such an old show that some people are going to be like, what is he talking about? And so That's if you right. don't know what it is, don't worry. But it is naked, not nude. Uh, and but right. as yes. we go along, you put some toppings on top. So once you have your icing, whether it's naked or nude, or whether you choose, for example, maple, 
right? Mm-hmm. Then you could actually put on six toppings, all right? Yes. And so the toppings are crushed Oreo p- uh, pieces, coconut shreds, sprinkles, kind of like, I'm guessing, like rainbow sprinkles that you have yeah. like on a Simpsons. Yeah, exactly donut. right. Crushed graham crackers, bacon. That can be bacon, go. Jeff, or just regular bacon? It's, uh, no, regular bacon. Regular so bacon. I guess they, yeah, they have bacon ready. Mini M&Ms, okay? Mm-hmm. And then once you have that on, you could also have a drizzle. And the drizzle could be either Nutella, coffee, lemon, cream cheese, raspberry, or vanilla bean. And so if you think about all the different combinations, there's dozens, hundreds, maybe even thousands. I haven't put the, mm-hmm. the math into the place, but there's so many different combinations that you could have that you would never run out if you're open-minded enough to try each one. Yeah. And, so, and of course, if you're uh, Michael Scott, you just ask for the works. Yes. I don't know if they do it or not. You, yeah. Maybe. Maybe cost a little extra. Because as you can see, you know, a single donut's two forty nine, but that is one icing, one topping, I'm guessing, and one drizzle. I think that's how it works, right? I think so too, yeah. Yeah. So if yeah. you wanted extra stuff, it's probably going to be an extra whatever they tell you it is. You know, I don't know mm-hmm. what it is. So uh, pretty cool that you can kind of create your own. It's a lot of fun. It, it, it actually reminds me of actually last week when we talked about oh where was that place uh uh cured oh yeah uh, the, the the cured um shakurdi and the strawberries and they had donut too as well yeah Is that what you mean yeah yeah because they had a donut making kit at the you know that, that they could have there yes and so basically that place uh i gotta get the name because it's called cured catering the way oh, there we go the yeah, you won that. So listen to last week's episode. It is season three, episode four, Cured Catering. Mm-hmm. We even showed a picture of the, you kind of go home with a donut making kit. This is a lot more exuberant. It's kind of yes. like they just make it in front of you. You don't have to do it yourself. They do. Yep. So <laughs> I'm going to make it sound less glamorous. It's kind of like going to Subway and they make the sandwich in front of you, <laughs> right? So but they're more friendly though. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. No, Subway's friendly. I apologize. Subway customers and, and employees, everyone's friendly that I've been to. Yes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And so they make the, you know, instead of making the sandwich in front of you, like they do in some way, they make the donut in front of you, the donut mm-hmm. and they drizzle it, just kind of, you know, uh, just like that, almost like making your own Sunday or having ordering your own Sunday. So it's kind of fun. And so, um, and also, it's also reminiscent of when my son Mason and I, uh, we did the donut workshop at Vaughn's Donuts. And I'll yes. remind you guys, that was a fun one. That was season one, episode 26. Mm-hmm. And then we are able to make six donuts. And basically there, we could put, really, we could put anything yeah. we wanted. It was just you, sorry, not me. It was my son and myself and the owner back in their kitchen making donuts. And that was an awesome experience. If you want to learn more about yeah. that again, it's season one, I, episode 26. Actually, yeah. And unfortunately, Vaughn's has closed down. Ah. Um, um, I, I guess due to the pandemic. Is that um, right, eh? Yeah, I, I, this is like, I, we, I remember, I don't want to look it up now, maybe we will, uh, but this, this somewhere before Christmas, uh, there was a big article on Blog TO saying that Vons is closed down. There's already, I think, a Polish or a Greek restaurant that's already in its spot. Uh, oh, and there's no word of where, where uh, the, uh, the Vaughn uh, creator went. That's a shame so. that Vons closed down. I hope they were able to go to another place and good mm-hmm. luck to whoever to the to the polish probably uh did you say polish greek who, who i think polish there? actually yeah Pol- we'll look it up there's a lot yeah. of greek there's a lot of greek in that area oh yeah so i thought it's blur yeah danforth yeah. so yeah it's on the danforth so uh good luck to uh vons uh the the owner's name was Les, and he was super friendly to right uh, during that workshop but um yeah and so if you want like kind of like your custom donuts or try frenchie's favorites actually we should talk about frenchie's favorites shouldn't we mm-hmm. we yeah. should yeah, so Frenchie's favorite, as Jeff said, there were 12 of them. And there's some pretty cool ones. There's ones called the Breakfast of Champions, which um, basically has bacon uh, on a maple glaze and then can't mm-hmm. eat egg gummies. Mm-hmm. Then there's Cinatella, all right? It's a cinnamon sugar and a Nutella drizzle. Shink- That's uh, it. Pink champagne, strawberry dipped. It's champagne drizzle. And then uh, two champagne gummy bears. Um, a tropical strawberry, uh, strawberry uh, with shredded toasted coconut and a lime drizzle. Uh, nice. The spotted lemon, a lemon dip with poppy seeds, the cookies and mm-hmm. cream, vanilla bean dip with Oreo pieces. Um, then there's a raspberry or blueberry lemonade, raspberry or blueberry dip with lemon oh, drizzle. Is, yep. Ch- double chocolate, basically chocolate dip with mini M&Ms. The mocha crunch, 
chocolate dip with crunch toffee pieces and uh, coffee drizzle. And then we have mm -hmm. three more. We got the blueberry or strawberry cheesecake, blueberry or strawberry dip, crushed graham crackers, and a cream cheese drizzle. The pink uh, sprinkle, pink vanilla dip topped with rainbow sprinkles, reminiscent of the Homer Simpson donut. And oh. then we get the margarita, lime dip topped with pink sea salt. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, wow. That mm. sounds good. Lime yeah. salt. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. That sounds like yeah, a good Yeah, I'm eating that one. Yeah, wow. Well, maybe we just didn't think of it. Who knows, right? Yeah. Who knows? So Jeff came over with uh, Diana. Mm -hmm. And actually, we'll just show some pictures of that here. Yeah. Jeff came over with Diana. There they are. They picked up some donuts. They're warm. They're made fresh. Mm -hmm. And they're made to order. And so they, they are it. with their box of donuts. And it was pretty cool. Um, and here's, you know, when you get there, if, you know, obviously, you're not going to remember everything that I said, you know. No. But there's instruction there on how to order and there's even pictures on what it looks like. So it's pretty cool. And so you can either look down at the menu or they even have a menu up top as well. Yeah. So they make it very easy for you. Um, I'm guessing they're super friendly, right, Jeff? Oh yeah. Yeah, they were. And we, we went uh, shortly after they opened so around 11 o'clock, I think, and they weren't that busy. Cause if you, depending on how many you, you do order, it takes about five, maybe t t 10 minutes, mm -hmm. um, but they do have two stations. But, you know, if, uh, like I said, this isn't Tim's or San Remo where there's donuts ready and you just pick it. This is, you create your own or you, you get a custom made donut. So it will take time. You know, good food takes time to do. Absolutely. And so you get to watch them construct it in front of you. Um, there's a little setup, right? So they had mm -hmm. Jeff ordered half a dozen, right? And then there, That's it. you know, and basically you just ordered one of the the, the favorites, right, Jeff? You yeah, yeah. We ordered them. six of the favorites. Six so of the favorites. Made, so make it easy. Yeah, absolutely. And so here's a, ooh, that was supposed to be a video. I'm not oh, sure. Oh, yeah, down bottom left. Bottom oh, there left. it is. There we go. So there's a little bit of them creating it. This looks like the strawberry one. If it's, Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because then yeah. there's coconut there. Yeah. Um, so as they're going along there, it looks like they've already made two of the donuts there. Mm -hmm. So there's the strawberry the, with the, the coconut. The crunch and the double fudge there. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. It reminds me of kind of like going somewhere where they make the, uh, you know, make an ice cream sundae in front of you or something like mm. that. And so you get to kind of yeah. watch. And it's, well, it seems yeah. like a lot of fun. Yeah. And so a, I'm sure the kids, when they go, they'll, they'll love it, you know. Absolutely. And so it is very cool that you guys caught some footage of them creating. These are the donuts that we actually ate. So a lot of fun. And this one they're creating here. I can't remember which. That's the lemon poppy. Was. Mmm, lemon poppy yeah. donut. I did not get to taste that one. And so that's one of the videos. And then I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. And here is, oh, I thought that was another one. Oh, here's another one. Yeah, bottom left again. Look through. So here's the first two that they made, oh, the chocolate. The, yeah. So they uh, put down the chocolate. So one was a double chocolate, right? Because mm -hmm. they put M&Ms on top. Is this the M&Ms here? No, that's something else. That's the top. That's the, the toffee pieces. Nice. So, yeah. so what I like oh, is that they, the timing, because they knew that there's two chocolate. So they, they dipped the two chocolate first, or at least at the same time, and then they yeah. would dress it differently. So, Absolutely. you know, that makes sense. It's a good timing thing for, for restaurateurs to do. Yeah, yeah, just kind of thinking ahead. And so these were the donuts. And of course, Jeff had to get the breakfast of champions because of that's right like bacon and eggs right it is and it's pretty attractive so uh, really like that so from starting from the top left what are those donuts jeff so the m&ms is double fudge the one next to it is of course breakfast of champions next to that is lemon poppy uh starting from the bottom left i believe it's called the nutella no that's not nutella or maybe it means nutella crunch mm -hmm. um next to the cinna chocolate cinnamon i believe it is and the next yeah. to that is the pink, tropical pink lemon. No, yeah, strawberry lemonade or strawberry, tropical strawberry. Tropical Something strawberry, like I think it's called. We yeah. could actually go back to French East Oh, yeah, Vegas. let's do that. So it was a Cinatella was the one of them. Yeah. And then the other one was the Mocha Crunch, maybe. Is that what it mocha is? Mocha Crunch. And then tropical strawberry. So up, uh, go oh, up again. Top, top, yeah, tropical right strawberry. There. So mm -hmm. those were the donuts there. Before we kind of rate those donuts, we're going to go to their Instagram page. Um, Ooh, a giveaway. Yeah, there is a giveaway that. going out. There's a, this is Frenchie maybe. That's the bull. No, that's the, no, that's just a guest dog. That's so a if you look behind dog. the dog, you see oh, all wow. the pictures of their other, their friends or their other customers, quote unquote, that have visited them in the past. Oh, how fun, right? No, yeah. that's pretty cool. 
oh yeah, this, this dog, it looks like this dog might be named Diesel. And so going through here, here's another video that's kind of fast forwarded. Someone ordered a dozen here. And so they're just going crazy making donuts there. Yeah. That's a lot of fun. And then, oh, someone ordered more. And so basically, if you kind of want to see what their donuts look like, quote unquote, in real life, either you can go there and order them yourself or, you know, check them out on Instagram. If you go to Instagram, you're probably going to want to go there anyway and taste it. Oh, all. yeah. And For obviously sure. you can go to their website. Um, like we have here, um, this is, I mean, these are actually pretty good pictures, but I kind of like the Instagram ones better. Yes. And so, yeah. So you can kind of go look, oh, you could actually see how they're mixing things yes. up and cooking. Exactly them right. And all that fun stuff. So that's what they have there. And if you ever wanted to go, uh, basically it's frenchiesdonuts.ca. We're going to leave their contact information along with their Instagram profile in our show notes so you guys could have a look and peek at it because I'm feeling that when some people listen to this, they're going to want to try this, um, oh, especially for sure. when we talk about the donuts here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back to this page and we're going to do a rating of the donuts. So Jeff, which donuts did you have again a chance to taste? I believe I tasted all of them. Oh, yeah. Taste, okay. I'm almost sure I tasted all of them. Okay, so let's go with your favorite. Um, so my favorite is Breakfast of Champions. However, nice. we weren't a big fan of the gummy eggs at all. You know, um, uh, yeah, they look great, but um, yeah, either leave it off or I suggested they make quail, French quail eggs, which is extremely hard to do, especially depending on how many you have to serve. Oh, so yeah. it does look great. However, the gummy eggs were not the best um i i recognize that right away and i remember when i said i just want a piece with bacon because i knew it was just a gummy it was just like a gummy yeah like an egg gummy i was like i know it's just gonna taste like a gummy i just want to yeah. make sure i have some bacon exactly and so I'm that sure was your favorite kids right? will have that you know yeah that's my favorite next favorite would be the uh the the mocha crunch one interesting yeah interesting interesting so my favorite was easily like top of the list tro uh, tropical strawberry i okay. loved that particular donut followed by the lemon poppy seed i do nice. i did like those hey i'm not a hater of chocolate because i did no. uh, try that i don't think i tried them all though i know i okay. tried did i have any of the chocolate oh no there was some chocolate left those were the last so maybe the chocolate yeah. just didn't get eaten but we it, it all got eaten but it just wasn't kind of like no, it wasn't the top picks. It wasn't yeah. the top picks. And so, but they're all good donuts, right? I mean, yeah. uh, what would you rate? Your favorite one was the Breakfast of Champion. What would you rate that? You know what? To be honest, I rate, I rate all of them donuts 8.5. 8.5. You know, like I said, but the, in the beginning of the podcast, like the base donut was delicious to begin with. So if you don't have a good yeah. base, then it doesn't matter what's, what's on top. So, and I think their flavor combinations are were spot on. The six that we had, all were spot on. And I think next time that uh, we go, we'll try the other six. And then after that, oh. we'll try to pick and, you know, just try to make a create your own and see if try something different. Yeah. So, yeah, we could just talk a little bit about the create your own. But we got to talk about this base a little bit because, you know, the base is very good. Actually, what I like to do with really good donuts is, you know, if I, if I have a chance to have the base donuts and even just dip it into an egg yolk, I'm all about uh, that. And so I nice. love donuts with eggs. And mm -hmm. so that's what I like. But it's really reminiscent of, oh, what was, man, I can't remember. What was the place called, Jeff, that had those uh, mochi donuts at the Oh, uh, Isabel's? Isabel's, yeah. Isabel's, yes. Isabel's. Yeah. That was at the, where was that, Jeff? That was at the Fried Chicken Festival. The fried, okay, thank you, Jim. Yeah. You, you you hit it there. And so, yeah, um, I was, no, that was the Mac and Cheese Festival that I was able to be the guest judge at. Yes. But that was the there. Fried Chicken Festival. Because they and made a sandwich out of the donuts, yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's how you remember that. And so mm -hmm. that was a lot of fun. And so Isabel's, yeah, that's the type of donut as well. You know, there's a mochi donut, there's a rice donut. Mm -hmm. And that's the type of place where even the donut is good enough at its as its own. So oh yeah, yeah, so absolutely. That so that's that's a lot of fun. And so I'm gonna get the episode here. Where is it? Fried chicken donut. So while Ken's getting that, so like we said, what I found f sort of funny is that uh, so there's the mocha crunch, the toffee pieces, but they actually don't have the toffee pieces as as a choice for in the create your own. So I don't know if you can ask for that or not, but uh, 
you know, maybe they just didn't have room to list it, but uh, it's not on there. So I'm just curious to know why. Maybe it is, but uh, yeah. That's actually a really good point, right? Because mm -hmm. that's part of the favorites. However, it's not one of the choices. I didn't even notice that. So your toppings yeah. are Oreo cookies, shred or coconut shreds, sprinkles, crushed graham crackers, bacon, mini M&Ms. suppose if you asked for it, they might... Uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah, because yeah. it's there. So they just can't say, oh, we don't have it. So Yeah, I mean, it's just in there. All they got to do is put their spoon in and put it on the donuts. <laughs> can't yeah. be that hard right <laughs> so so yeah and so if you wanted to create your own jeff what would you mm -hmm. do uh i think i would still go with the maple mm. um yeah or maybe even oh yeah you know what i, I think i need some time with this one yeah because yeah maple is yeah. always a good one right but then the, i'm looking yeah. at the lime right i'm looking at the lime that could be good man there's a lot of good choices there and so I, I, you know what? Maybe if we went and just did all custom, then that oh, would yeah. be a lot of fun with that. And so, oh for sure, absolutely. Some of the fr the favorites we've already talked about. We want to try the margarita. Like seriously, lime dip. With yeah, sea salt sounds. I'm so surprised nice. I missed that. I'm so so surprised. Yeah, I missed that one. Yeah, or even the lemonade. I'd try that. Mm -hmm. You know, um, raspberry with a lemon drizzle. I, um, I would get the raspberry or blueberry a, a blueberry lemonade choice i'll probably go for the raspberry over the uh, yeah. blueberry yeah me That's too just me i think so too yeah. yeah and then we tried the champagne i guess i'd try it but it's not something that i'd be like you know over the top you know wanting no to try exactly right and same thing yeah. with the pink sprinkle like i can get the pink sprinkle at like I don't know, 7 Eleven or anyway. something. Like so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Uh, so, yeah. But yeah, it a, sounds like a, a, a lot of fun. And yeah, next time we go, we got to get the margarita and maybe mm -hmm. some of our own, you know, well, our own sure. creations, whether it's, you know, strawberry with bacon. Oh, that'd be, I don't know why I threw that out there. Maybe, maybe not. cream cheese with bacon. Oh, cream cheese with bacon. Oh, that, no, that's, uh, that, that, that's a drizzle. So. Ah, I see. With the, okay, so baking with a cream cheese drizzle, and yeah. maybe I don't know what be the base would be, but no, neither do I. Yeah, yeah. but still, you know, there's a lot of different choices that you could get, which is really a lot of fun. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And so I would rate. Let's go back here because I do want to give a rating. I'm going to give that strawberry tropical strawberry one. I'm going to give that an eight point five. Okay. I'm going to give, yeah, I'm going to give the Breakfast of Champions. I didn't have the egg gummy, so I'm not, uh, I'm not yes. so. Don't worry, you're, you're missing anything. Yeah, I'm not missing out on that. I'm going to give the, that an eight. And then I'm going to give the lemon poppy seed. I'm going to give that an eight as well. And everything would be a 7.5 after that because they were good donuts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be my rating. And so this was a really, really good place to go. And if you're looking for donuts, now, is this in Cloverdale? Where is this place? No, it's actually um, northeast corner of uh, closest intersection is Bl Dun Blur Dundas and Isling and Kipling, actually. Oh, okay. Kipling. So it's called the Five, Five Corners Mall. Uh, there's a shoppers and a, um, uh, a no, uh, sorry, shoppers and a bulk barn. Uh, so if you're in, in Tobacco, it's by Kipling Station, basically. Okay. So it's on Bloor Street near Kipling Station. That's, that's probably the easiest thing I could say. Cool. Yeah. It's pretty cool. And so, you know what? I'm going to share the screen just once again here because I okay. do want to share something here is that you, it looks like this is their ordering page. It looks like you could just order ahead too. Like you don't have to sit there yeah. and watch them. Right? Exactly so right. If you wanted to, and that even goes for the customizable one. So if you wanted to order a custom, oh yeah, let's go there. One, you could actually go there and actually say, "Hey, I want the margarita." Well, actually, it's custom. Can you pick a, another flavor just to see what happens? Oh wow, huh? Well, that's actually not a customized customized single. I guess that makes it. Oh no, you're right. No. You're... Oh, I see what's happening here. These are just the. Uh... So what you could do is you could either. Oh order a favorite or you can move down and actually say hey listen donut number one hopefully i'm getting this right yeah then you could start picking out the icings whether you want it naked or nude or put a vanilla bean icing and then put the toppings mm. some sprinkles and drizzle on top okay so you could do that right from their ordering site and we're going to put that in the show notes as well and so right. it looks like whether you want uh, a 
a Frenchie's favorite, all those pre-made, not pre-made, but kind of pre-packaged ones, and then, or do a custom one, custom six pack, custom 12 pack. And even if you want some, you know, some beverage, you want some of their coffee or or a Mm -hmm. bottle of water or chocolate milk with that, and they even have merch. Should we look at the merch here? Yes, they have t-shirts, they have mugs. Um, So yeah, travel mugs, yeah, coffee and water bottles. So yeah, they have a lot of stuff uh, to, to promote themselves. Absolutely. I'm wondering if, yeah, I can't, their, their merch is not on their, on their website because you can't really see what it looks like, but you could actually order it. And maybe if you're there, you could actually see what it looks like. Cause I don't think, yeah. I, cause I'm, when I click on it, it just says you could just order it. Like, you just yeah, pay that's it. it. There's Here no you go. Like picture of it. You know, I'm looking at, you know, I just clicked on the coffee mug and it just says large coffee mug, 12 bucks and there's mm-hmm. no pick. So maybe you don't want to do it that way. Uh, or maybe you're just such a fan of Frenchies that you're going to order all of their merch. Like, oh, yeah. Knows? Exactly you know right. It turned out. But it was a great day. Jeff rating all those, all yep. of the donuts at 8.5. I rated them at either 7.5 to 8.5. Yeah. And we want to try more. So it was a great week. And what we invite you to do is that if you are getting value from our podcast, whether you're getting entertained or you really like our recommendations, we invite you to do something super simple, super easy. And we invite you to either like, subscribe, share, comment. It's a super easy way. And it's a simple way for you to support our blog, sorry, our podcast, and to do so for free. Isn't that right, Jeff? That's correct. And also, if you have any recommendations for us, uh, like a restaurant or something to eat, please let us know also in the comments or DM us. And remember this quote from Julia Child, people who love to eat are always the best people. Yes, and that, of course, includes my brother, Chef Jeff Santos. I'm his brother, Kenny Santos, and you as well, if you love to eat food worth mentioning. All right, thanks a lot, everybody. All right, take care. You've been listening to Santos Brothers Eat. Food worth mentioning.